Hey guys, this is No One Wallet, and this is a tutorial on and preview on how to do this. Make a fireplace out of designed. It's completely sealed at the back when it's uh, lit, and then if you press it again, it will um, extinguish it and open it up. And then there's also a button on the inside, or a button anywhere you want, um, like that. It's a pretty fast opening and closing mechanism. Um, yeah, I'll show you this fail design. This is my previous one. It wasn't fail, but it was a bit slow and crap. Um, if and this was a bit stupid. <laughs> yeah, and then it had like some kind of draining system. It was awful anyway. So yeah, down will be in the description for this. But if you want to make it on a server or something, then keep watching. This would be a tutorial. Okay, so we try and do all this in one take. I think I can remember it. Um, so I'm going to put this like this and put pistons up here and then replace these stairs like this. I've made like a design like this. I um, forgot to say this is a 7 by 12 floor, 4 by 4 panel here, here, uh, 4 by 1 like beam across there and then 4 by 1 stairs, some kind of style thing here in the roof. Uh, three blocks from the dispenser, in between the dispenser and the fire and then obviously netherrack here it's four stairs and then floor uh, four wide obviously and yeah that's that's pretty much what you've got to make first so you obviously put these pistons in and then you want to go to here break these four blocks back out so you're left with this and then at this height I believe you want to make a Two, three by four panel of pistons. So put bricks like this, uh, nether rack here, and stairs here. So then on the bottom, you want to go down and make a two by four floor here. Put torches on all these. Um, and then you want to go down again and make a one by four strip of thing, put torches on there, you want to make a sort of 4x2 thing here, but then this one needs to be a half slab, put dust here, repeaters here, do the same sort of thing here, so make 2x4 floor repeaters, and dust, and same again here, So these repeaters need to be on three ticks and dust. Okay, so that should be all connected up. It will probably be in this weird state, but that's fine. Um, I guess I'll connect this one up first. So put a torch here, put um, block here and here, put a double block here and then do this sort of shape and then put torches repeaters here this on one, this on four dust here, torch here, dust here and here dust there, repeat here on three ticks delay um, repeater here on four ticks delay dust like that, go down Put a slab there and like that. Okay, so from here, I guess next, I'll put a torch here and then go across. Put repeaters here, all on four ticks, and then this sort of thing so it feeds down. Then you want to make a splitter sort of thing. So that one goes to the bottom, one goes to the top. So that powers that, and then this one goes up, and then so dust here, repeaters on four ticks and one tick, and then go up like this, zigzag the rest, uh, put a block here, across there just on this 
dust down there. You can use um, glowstone instead of these slabs, by the way. Anyway, you see slab, you can use glowstone. Um, unless it's got a repeater on, which I don't think it has anywhere in this thing. So, next, I guess I'll hook up this. So, you want to go down from here and then across like this, blocking off these two here. Put dust across here. Then you want to make three high torch tower. So, that, that, and then that, I guess. So, it's three high just so you get the right amount of delays. So, don't make sure that you have got three. Um, like that, that works fine. So, that connects to the dispensers, which are here. Um, that's all connected up. Finally, you need to put this here and connect up the bottom, the middle ones actually. So, this sort of thing, and then dust here and here. This on three, this on one, torch here, here, and here, dust here, repeater here. Okay. And that should work if I just get a lever now and then put it here. That should open it. And now you just gotta fill these with fire charges. It's gonna cost four fire charges per open. No per per close, sorry. Oh yeah, I've done this once before and it yeah. And I forgot to get rid of that. The sound wasn't working if you're in the ring. That's why I can remember it pretty well. Um, so yeah, that should work. And then close it like that. All's good. Check it opens okay. Okay, so that works good. Break its lever. That's going to toggle it back to its previous state. Um, and then you want to put a block here like this. This is part of the T flip flop so it can access with a button rather than a lever because that's a better way of doing it so I'm gonna put a T flip flop now it's a standard alone T flip flop you probably know how to make this already so like that and then blocks above here like this and then uh, you want to quickly do that oh it burnt out Wait, let me just replace that. Um, you want to do this because this makes it activate quicker if you reverse the T flip flop. And then here is your input. So you can put a button linking to this line from the outside and the inside, just all linking to the same line. And this toggles it like that, and then toggles it again. So, yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time.